Thank you. You may be seated. Good evening and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the building. Welcome to Salina High School Central's commencement as we celebrate the graduation of the class of 2017. There are several honored guests that I would like to acknowledge at this time. Please hold your applause until all have been recognized. On the stage with me tonight, are members of the Salina USD 305 Board of Education, including President Jonna Vossler, Vice President Nedra Ebel, Ms. Carol Brandert, Mr. Brett Cooper, Ms. Ramona Newsom, Ms. Mary Ann Trickle, and Ms. Ann Zimmerman. I am also joined tonight by Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Bill Hall, Salina High School Central Senior Assistant Principal, Ms. Jenna DeLay, Assistant Principal, Mr. Scott Lee, Senior Counselor, Ms. Janine File, and our fantastic Senior Class Sponsor, Ms. Deanna Collins. Seated behind our graduates this evening, you will find our incredibly talented faculty and staff. Thank you all for being here this evening to celebrate the class of 2017. <laughs> Finally, I would like to give special acknowledgement to Salina High School Central Administrative Assistant, Mrs. Debbie Turner, who has played such a crucial role in our successes over the past nine years. Thank you, Debbie, for all that you do for our school. I will always be impressed with this class. For the class of 2017, this has been a year of transition and change. New bell schedules, new ELO procedures, new principal, and new construction seemingly everywhere. Very easily, you could have entered this year with a chip on your shoulder, as everything that you previously were used to had just been turned upside down. But this did not happen. For the class of 2017, construction and change was never an excuse to continue moving forward. From day one, as a class, you embrace the changes taking place each day and push the bar even higher for the future classes of Salina Central. You were leaders in our building, setting the tone and expectations for our underclassmen. You were leaders in the classroom, preparing yourselves for life after Central with challenging courses and experiences that have prepared you for whatever comes next. You were national qualifiers, state qualifiers, state champs, sub-state champs, and league champs with your teams, clubs, groups, and sports. You were leaders in the community, completing thousands of hours of community service and making countless donations to charitable causes. You were highly involved on our campus and on the campuses of our feeder schools, setting a positive example for our future Mustangs. The common theme that I hope you all realize is that all of you are leaders. In some way, shape, or form, each of you has had an impact on this school and this community during your time in Salina. The challenge that I now issue to you is this. Continue to be a leader as you walk out of this building tonight. Continue to make a difference and continue to have an impact on those around you. You have shaped and formed the expectations for future classes to follow. 
continue to be a leader, continue to embrace change, and continue to rise up to each occasion. You all have done this in your own way over these past four years, and we cannot wait to hear how you continue to do this in the years to come. To close, one of my favorite moments of this year took place the very first day that you all were on campus. Packed in our auditorium, the Maroons and the entire senior class led the auditorium in our We Are SC cheer. It was loud, the entire auditorium was rocking, and it was awesome. It was an exciting moment to take in as a new principal. I want you to know that as graduates and alumni, you are a vital part of the we in We Are SC. You have represented us in some of the best ways possible, and you will continue to do so. Though our building will be different the next time you come back, you will always be a Mustang, and you will always be a part of SC. Class of 2017, we are extremely proud of all of you and will continue to be. Thank you. At this time, please welcome Mr. Dylan Wenzel, who will deliver tonight's first graduate address. Vince Lombardi, the first Super Bowl winning coach of the Green Bay Packers, once said, the price of success is hard work, dedication to the task at hand, and the determination that whether we win or lose, we've applied the best of ourselves. Now success is a word that can describe much of what we've accomplished as students, as athletes, as musicians, as actors, and as leaders over the last four years at Salina Central. Our teachers, coaches, Principals and families have worked diligently to instill the qualities of a successful individual within us. Now it does seem like just a few days ago we were wide-eyed freshmen entering the halls of Salina Central. Many of us excited for the experiences of high school, but some of us probably nervous for the change. I remember receiving my class schedule that first day at freshman orientation and attempting to navigate the halls of Central, and that was before all the construction. A lot's changed in our four years here. But I especially remember the next day the first day experiencing the packed halls of high school and looking at the seniors and thinking that graduation seemed like a lifetime away. Yet here we are today. It's actually here. Looking back, there are so many memories. There's competing in sports with our friends, packing the student section with whatever theme we dreamt up for that week, or piling in a car to make a road trip to an away game. There are memories like watching Dade Douglas over there run across the field to tackle the opposing mascot at homecoming pep rally. There are memories of watching the girls get a little too competitive pulling each other's flags in powder puff football. The memories of watching the seniors steal the stage in this year's musical, Big Fish, or even the memory of duct taping Mr. Showman right here to the wall in honor of our canned food drive. Some of my all-time favorite memories include our junior year, storming the basketball court and hoisting Braden New Schaefer in the air after winning sub-state basketball championship over Salina South. Or our sophomore year, the students rushing the football field after we beat the top-ranked Mays Eagles in a last-second goal line stop, or our freshman year, going to all of your favorite school dance, the Crave. We've had some fun times here at Central, but along with the fun times, the last few years have also prepared us for what's to come in our lives. Our time at Central has prepared us to take the next step. We've put in lots of work over the last four years. We've spent countless hours studying, doing homework, or just sitting in class whether we were learning to run the track in Mr. Peter's chemistry class, memorizing the unit circle for Mrs. Collins in pre-calc, reading and annotating the Great Gatsby for English, or even building Mr. Goodwin's famous newspaper bridge for physics, we were working to be successful in our academic goals. Every day that we spent at the field, or on the court, or the time we spent in the weight room, or the hours we put in at play rehearsal or band practice, we were working to be successful at what we were passionate about. And we've achieved a lot during our time at Central. But now it is time to translate these successful habits to whatever lies before us. Whatever path we choose to pursue after this point, our success will be determined by the hard work and dedication we devote to the task at hand. Now this makes me think of a famous Coach Brake quote. Many of you know Coach Brake, whether from seeing him in the building at Central, having him in your class as a para, or having him as a coach. And if you have had him as a coach, you know he has many famous quotes. But one that has always stuck out in my mind is that whenever a practice was tough, we could count on Coach Brake saying, 
If it was easy, everyone would do it. And this is really the truth. Everyone wants to be successful, but few are willing to put in the work. Hard work is what is going to separate us from the next person in whatever we hope to achieve. And today, today is the day we start our path towards our new goals. We're going to encounter obstacles along the way. We are going to lose and we are going to win. But it is how we respond to both of these that will define our success. Winston Churchill once stated, success is not final and failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. So whatever it is you pursue, never give up. Your success may lie right around the corner. Finally, I hope you never forget your time here at Salina Central. Whether you had a great high school experience or you've been ready for the stay since the start of your freshman year, Salina Central has played a role in making you the individual you are today. The influence of our teachers, the friendships we formed, the lessons we've learned, and the good times we've had. This is what each of us will build upon in the coming years. Together, together we've created a foundation. Now it is up to us to go and create the future that we desire and build upon what we started here as Salina Central Mustangs. Thank you. Thank you, Dylan. Senior band and orchestra members, please join the band for your final performance. Tonight, the band and orchestra will be playing The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey.
thank you Ms. Modine and Mr. Rohr and all of the members of the Salina High School Central Band and Orchestra. The next graduate address will be delivered tonight by Ms. Shally Miller. There are very few things I know in my life. I know that it's extremely appropriate that we're graduating from Tony's Pizza Event Center, considering we might be living off frozen pizza for quite a long time. I know that it would only be more appropriate if we were graduating from the Ramen Noodles Event Center. And I know that I'm standing on the stage that I've been waiting to walk for four long years. But something I also know is now that I'm here, I'm scared. But I know that I'm not alone. We've longed for this moment our whole lives, saying, I can't wait to get out of here. But now that it becomes a reality, the full force of this moment sets in. We're ending our public education, no longer legally required to be in school. Now we get to be choosed in school and be in $1,000 of debt because of it, or not. We get to take the things we learned in high school and never use some of it ever again. <laughs> because what we really learned in high school were the things that aren't on tests. We learned from nights where we sat staring at a blank page at midnight for an essay that's due the next day. We learned from the late nights laughing with friends until our side hurts, theater set strikes until midnight, the 8 a.m. tournaments, the competitive games, the community service projects. We've learned from our teachers who have persevered through tough times in their lives. Some of those instances, including our inability to pay attention for more than five minutes. We've learned to think who we want to be, even if career cruising slightly disagreed with us. They've told us high school is all about education and preparing us for adulthood. But in reality, our education has barely begun. We think that since we're high school graduates, We've made it. We have only an idea of our future, a broad outline influenced by parents, family, and friends. We now get to choose who we want to be, where we want to go, or when we won't leave the house, ever. <laughs> We're now going to face the true struggles of adulthood, something we really haven't read the terms and conditions for. We'll struggle through and make mistakes. But for those moments when you make mistakes, I offer you a piece of advice that my coach, Nicholas Owen, gives me. Fix your face and get back out there. We'll change the world with these mistakes. We all made our mark in school, small or big as they may be. We now have the opportunity to leave a bigger mark on our world in whatever direction we may take in life. We are the ones that are going to change the world. The politicians, mechanics, moms, dads, construction workers, performers, artists, whatever we may choose to be. We all have the chance to make an impact. And that chance and likelihood increases the moment we walk across this stage and out of this building. I say that I learned a few things in high school. But these include the fact that the future of our world is walking out today with the cap on our heads, a diploma in our hands, and a world of potential within ourselves. Now, before I finally stop talking and stop giving you my opinion for once, I want you all to look around. Come on, just because you're high school graduates doesn't mean you're too cool to participate in interactive speeches. Look at your classmates, most of whom you'll never see again. Look at the people who came here to support you and be excited. We're walking out today thanks to the help of our teachers, principals, librarians, family, and friends who have shaped us. They won't leave us. They never will. They'll have a place in our minds and our hearts forever. They made us who we are. For that, we thank them. And follow it up with a rush goodbye as we run out of the door to our unknown futures. Class of 2017, we've done it. We've learned a few things, but there's only so much more to come.
Thank you, Shally. Will senior members of Free Spirit please join the choir for your final performance? At this time, will the class of 2017 and the Salina High School Central faculty please rise as Free Spirit sings our alma mater? Central High, our alma mater, we will cherish thee. Through the many years that follow to eternity. For our colors maroon and white, may our banners
Thank you, Mr. Holmquist and Free Spirit for the fantastic renditions of our alma mater and home. <clears throat> Members of Thespian Troop 639 are wearing blue and yellow cords tonight. Would senior thespians please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Members of the National Forensics League Honor Society are wearing red and gray cords tonight. Shally Miller, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Members of the National FFA Organization are wearing blue and gold cords tonight. FFA members, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Members of Salina High School Central's robotics team are wearing red, silver, and blue cords tonight. Senior robotics members, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. In addition to earning his high school diploma, Evan Schneider is wearing a white cord tonight to signify the post-secondary degree an associate's degree of applied sciences that he earned while also attending Salina Area Technical College. Evan, would you please stand and be recognized at this time? <laughs> 36 CTE pathway completers are wearing cords in a variety of colors tonight as recognition for completing the curriculum and service hour requirements in one of five designated pathways. In total, these 36 students represent five different fields, health science, arts and communications, human services, business, and STEM. Seniors recognized as being pathway completers, would you all please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Jobs for America's Graduates is a program designed to prepare students for life after high school. Students in JAG are wearing red, white, and blue cords tonight. Members of JAG, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Members of National Honor Society are wearing light blue stoles tonight to symbolize their academic, civic, and leadership accomplishments. Members of National, Honors, National Honor Society, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Each student that is in the top 10% of the senior class based upon seventh semester weighted GPA is wearing an academic honor medal with a maroon and gray band. Will the top 10% of the senior class please stand and be recognized? Thank you. At this time, will the following students please stand? Dylan Wenzel and Hannah Jansen. These students have achieved the status as the top 1% of the senior class and tonight are wearing an academic honor medal with a black band. Dylan and Hannah, we congratulate you on this tremendous accomplishment. <laughs> Mr. Hall, it is my pleasure as the principal of Salina High School Central to certify to you and to the USD 305 Board of Education that each of the students before you has met the graduation requirements set forth by the great state of Kansas and by Salina Schools USD 305. Senior class and student council officers will be reading the names of our graduates tonight. Please welcome Ty Bunyareth, Umer Sundu, Kennedy Lancaster, Sarah Brown, Bailey Petty, and Dylan Wenzel to the stage. Our graduates will be presented their diplomas tonight by members of the USD 305 Board of Education. We ask all of our guests that during the reading of student names, 
you are considerate of all students and allow each name to be heard. Seniors, prepare to receive your diplomas. Gloria Sirwa Ababio. Sergio Alejandro Alba Garcia. Maya E. Alshire. Brooke L. Allen. Tori Lynn Allen. Alicia Winstina Andrews. Dalton L. Archibald. Rebecca Ayers. Ethan Batters. Alexis Gabriella Baeza. Stephen Byer. Tiffany A. Bear. Christopher David Bador. <laughs> Diana Nicole Bell. Ariana A. Benton. Shane Michael Lee Benton. Marius Ryland Barons. Mackenzie N. Bergeson. Akash R. Bakta. Abby G. Bishop. Brittany Ann Blackham. Marina Bloom. Jordan Renee Bottom. Meshik Patton Bowers. Caitlin M. Boyer. Patrick Aaron Jance Buchanan. Darius Rashawn Burse. Emma Grace Kane.
Mayella Campa. Carla Carrillo. Asia Mary Carter. John Patrick Carter Jr. Brittany Michelle Carver. Adrian Castro. Hannah C. Sell. Austin Michael Chart. Tyler Lynn Chavez. Luis F. Coca. Hunter Elise Cole. Angel A. Contreras. Kendra D. Cole. Becca Elaine Cooper. Dawson the Dawes Counts. Michelle Andrea Cox. Trinity Ann Crawford. Christopher Andrew Davis. Selena E. De Leon. Samuel R. Dean. Elizabeth Mantina Dennis. Bailey L. Dewitt. Sandra Diaz. Mallory Brooke Diggs. Kevin Dominguez. Dade Aaron Douglas. Caitlin Nicole Drowns. Lenora Jean Dyke. Kyle Dean Early. Alyssa A. Eklund. Keegan D. England. Garrett R. England Payne. Elena R. Ewing. Alciana S. Falk. Kiana Sherelle Fields. Jackson Lawrence Figs. Federico Flores Mesa. David Samuel French Jr. Tanisha Marie Sunshine Gadsden. Denise Garcia.
Maria Trinidad Garcia. Ulysses Garcia. Colton Ryan Gentry. Crystal R. Gerlman. Colin Goldsmith. Salvador Gonzalez. Talia J. Gordon. Tyra Jade Gordon. Matthew Donald Grandy. Jordan Ashley Graves. Kimberly Sharon Hagerman. Zachary D. Haney. Tristan Anthony Harder. Kashana Ray Harrington. Brady Wayne Hawk. Caleb Alexander Heisen. Skyler H. Hendrick. Dylan M. Henry. Alize Denise Hesquierdo. Paige Marie Heger. Quinn Gabrielle Hill. Whitney Renee Hoffman. Caroline Scout Holgerson. Chelsea Joanne Humphreys. Shamar Adolfe Hutchins. Canyon Faye Illingworth. Peyton Irvine. Haley N. Jackson. Hannah Marie Jansen. Tisha Lee Jane. Haley Renee Jennings. Damon Keith Jones. Sophie Elaine Justice. Kelsey Elizabeth Ketcher. Angela H. Kim. Casey Lynn Knoth. Amanda M. Koch. Sumjai Kaden Kunavong. Kirsten C. Labonte. Bailey D. LaFleur. Evan Vincent Lambert. Angelica A. Lance. Job, 
Hannah K. Liker. Jasmine Precious Luthapon. Kasana J. Lewis. Jacob Lynn Lay. Caden Ryan Louthan. Aaron August Lytle. Sierra Rose Mallinger. Morgan E. Marfis. Leslie L. Martinez. Ashley Nicole Mayorga. Caleb Michael McConnell. Sarah Jane Mermis. Selena Rose Morell. Ashira Christine Miller. Shally R. Miller. Marion E. Miller. Lisbeth Marino Duenas. Dustin C. Morgan. Grayana L. Morgan. Mackenzie J. Myers. Mary Kathleen Agnes Mylar. Lex Johan Nebling. Samuel Aiden Neff. Joshua David Nelson. Aaron Michael Rotano Nesting. Braden Varner Newshafer. Noah Osborne Nevitt. Robert Earl Nichols Jr. Emma Jane Norris. Madison Ann Nallen. Emily Marie Oberly. Hannah Elena Oaks. Alicia De La Cruz Ortiz. Carly Jean Palmatier. Brian Palomero Fajardo. Carmen Perales. Scott Aaron Person. Jasmine Kaylee Peterson. Alexandra Micah Petrie. Jason T. Picking. Oh, 
Zachary Rubin Pip. Tristan Douglas Pittinger. Rena Renee Pauly. Trenton James Ponting. Jose I. Perciado. Noah N. Premix. Trent I. Prothro. Maria Putzier. Joseph Michael Quinley. Hunter J. Radke. Brittany Renee Reagan. Jose Angel Ramirez. Tegan B. Richardson. Jenna B. Ryder. Jade A. Robinson. Joanna Rodriguez Kelzalda. Anna Jacqueline Rodriguez. Delaney B. Rudisil. Alexis Israel Ruiz Salcedo. Maya Nicole Ruiz. Savannah Rose Ruiz. Riley Ann Rundell. Alicia Leanne Ruvacaba. Caitlin A. Rystad. Genesis Satillion. Evan Adam Schneider. Abigail Lee Schroeder. Elijah Curtis Sears. Zachary Grant Sharpstein. Abigail Cheryl. Andrew J. Shirley. Anthony M. Shirley. Deandra Marie Silman. Kaylee Lee Simpson. Tyresha Latanya Sledge. Ashland K. Smuts. Jace E. Sorrell. Kamisha Mary Stevenson. Kira Rain Stewart. Andrew Ronald Stratman. Nicholas Daniel Stewart. Callian Ray Stuby. Maurice Lee Sutherland.
Eldon John Taskinen. Sir E. Taylor. <laughs> Justin J. Tech. Laurel Rose Thompson. Connor Sheldon Tubal. Tabor Michael Turner. Isaiah Charles Maxwell Veal. Jagger Reese Villardell. Brandy L. Vineyard. Lauren E. Vogan. Jared Stanley Maxwell Walker. Maya Renee Walker. Rachel Renee Walker. Ashlyn Rain Warford. JC E. Warner. Olivia Rose Watkins. Brianna N. Wise. Zondra M. Wise. Gabriel Mason Welsh. Courtney Wigand. Mackenzie Dawn Wilcox. Ariana Legene Wilkins. Donovan Will. Daisia Nicole Williams. Gleason Adley Williams. Shayla Brienne Williams. Monique Lynn Wilson. Jaden Lee Wireman. Courtney Diane Worley. Maverick S. Wiley. Zebulon Lloyd Yeager. Ty Bunyareth. Umar Dean Sandu. Kennedy Ann Lancaster.
Bailey Nicole Petty. Sarah Louise Brown. Dylan Scott Winsel. Our final student address of the evening will be delivered by Mr. Umar Sundu. <laughs> Hello. As Mr. Showman said, my name is Umar Sundu, not Umar Sandu like I've been telling you for years. Also, I'm not usually one for serious speeches, so congratulations and goodbye. <laughs> Actually, I've been saying funny stuff for about 18 years now, so I'll go ahead and do it for a few more minutes. Well. Hello and good afternoon to all my fellow classmates who have traveled this memorable journey alongside me. And good afternoon to all the heartbroken moms and the secretly excited dads thinking about their 18-year-old babies departing. I'd like to start by thanking our respected teachers and our principal, Mr. Showman. I'd also like to thank my own parents who have always pushed me to be the best I could be. And lastly, I'd like to thank someone who was always there for me whenever I was at a loss for words. Someone who was always willing to help me in school. Someone, I'm sure, saved all our college applications and essays. This someone was thesaurus.com. <laughs> thesaurus.com, thank you. For without you, my speech tonight would sound like a <clears throat> rudimentary third grade book. Well, graduates, we've made it. Tonight is our last day together as students of Salina Central High School. As the legendary street poet and philosopher Drake once said, as a group, we did indeed start from the very bottom. But now, it looks like the whole team's here. For all of us, it seems as though it was just yesterday when we were at the bottom of the food chain, when today seemed like nothing but a distant dream. Looking back on these years, we will all be able to remember the football and basketball games, we'll remember the dances, we'll remember our best friends, we'll remember the first girlfriend, the second girlfriend, <laughs> the third girlfriend. And the moment you realized you're the reason relationships don't work out. <laughs> Nonetheless, we're here now, and we must move forward to conquer our next dreams and ambitions. Now, as we go out into the realms of the college world, we have all the cards in our hands. We choose whether or not we will succeed or fail. And all of us, every single one of us, has the ability to be successful. The key to correctly handling ourselves in these next few intimidating years is simple. I will listen here, as it's probably the only intellectual thing I'll say in this speech of mine. The key is to focus on the task right in front of us and not to spend all our time worrying and stressing about what's to come in four to eight years. I know that contradicts everything we've been taught up to this point. We were supposed to focus on our big dreams, not take it day by day, week by week. But if we do take it one day at a time, we won't have to carry as much stress, but we'll still be able to achieve our big dreams. To understand the relationship between worrying about the distant future and staying focused on our daily goals, I would like to tell you all a story about Yamada Motochi. In 1984, Yamada Motochi unexpectedly won the World Marathon Championship. When the reporters asked how he attained his startling success, 
He responded, I used wisdom to defeat the opponent. The reporters didn't understand him. Running is a sport that requires physical strength and endurance. Two years later, Yamada won the championship yet again. A reporter asked him, you have won the championship again. Can you talk about your experience? Yamada's answer was the same. I used wisdom to defeat the opponent. Years later, Yamada disclosed a secret in his autobiography. He said it relied mostly on one thing. And this one thing, I'm sure, would do us all some good. This one thing was steroids. <laughs> Just kidding. Yamada actually wrote, before each marathon, I would travel and mark landmarks along the way, such as the first mark being a river, the second being a tree, and the third a red house. When the race began, I ran as fast as I could towards the first goal, the river bank. When I arrived at the river, I would strive for the second goal, the tree. By breaking the whole marathon into many small goals, I could finish the race easily. At first, before I knew this method, I would get exhausted in the first 10 kilometers because I was frightened by the extensive distance. This story shows us that we can achieve our bigger goals by dividing them into easier, smaller, short-term tasks. In our lives, we should try our best to transform our career and academic goals into Yamada's road. We will not be able to prevail if we aren't even looking at the steps right in front of us. Don't already be worrying about whether or not you will achieve your goals, because you will. We're persistent. I mean, look at what we've gone through. We survived a whole year of construction zone, hours of gazing into Chromebook loading screens, and Mr. Modine. <laughs> and we're smart, too. We can accomplish anything we set our minds to. But even though, as a class, we are smart, we're still allowed to say, I don't know. Just because we're only 17, 18, or 19, we're still allowed to say, let me get back to you. This will come in handy when your parents ask you when you plan to move out of their basement, and you respond, uh, I don't know. Let me get back to you on that. Now, the only way I know how to end this speech of mine is with a quote from the legendary writer we all know, F. Scott Fitzgerald. He writes, For what it's worth, it's never too late, or in my case, too early, to be whoever you want to be. There's no time limit. Stop whenever you want. You can change or say the same. There are no rules to this thing. We can make the best of it or the worst of it. I hope you all make the best of it. And I hope you see things that startle you. I hope you feel things you've never felt before. I hope you meet people with a different point of view. I hope you live a life you're proud of. If you find that you're not, I hope you have the courage to start all over again. Congratulations, class of 2017. We've made it. I'll miss you all. Thank you, Umer, for that fantastic closing speech. I welcome all our guests to join the graduates outside of the arena immediately following tonight's ceremony to continue the celebration. At this time, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the Salina High School Central Class of 2017. Will Senior Class President Bailey Petty please come to the stage and would all graduates please stand. The changing of the tassels symbolizes the change from student to graduate. Class of 2017, move your tassel from right to left. Congratulations. Graduates, we made it.